We're here with Bill Yasek from Superior Model and Grid in Woonsocket, Rhode Island, and the Blackstone Valley Independent Business Lines. Yes. Hi, Bill. How are you doing, Joe? I'm good, man. Good to see you. Good to see you. It's been a while. Yeah, it's been a few months. Yeah. Glad to see all the progress you all making down here. Thank you. So, uh, as I discussed with you, I'll ask you a few questions, and you can answer or not answer any way that you like. Mm -hmm. How old are you? 54. I have to think about it, too. Actually, I just learned. I just had a birthday. I'm 55. <laughs> 55. How about political orientation? You got one of those? Democrat. And Lifelong. Lifelong Democrat. Lifelong. Good Rhode Island. And how about uh, religion or religious affiliation? Roman Catholic. Okay. And your job titles here in Woonsocket? Uh, other than janitor, I'm the uh, president of Superior Model and Granite. Okay. And you've got a role in the uh, uh, Blackstone Valley Group as well, right? Yes. The, um, the BV on the chairman. Okay, great. Can you talk about how you uh, view your role in this community? Uh, well, um, well, in this community, I'm a businessman uh, trying to provide goods and services to people. Um, I also try to support the community. Through the business, uh, we since we've started, even before we could afford uh, uh, some luxury items, I uh, made donations to all the uh, youth groups and things of that nature. So I've always had a strong commitment to the community. And can you talk about your relationship in the Blackstone Valley with the local independent community? Well. Um, well, it's actually, I guess it's twofold. One of them, the relationship is, it's, um, I was brought up in a, in a working class family. Uh, my father bought iron for a living in a foundry, piecework. Uh, and uh, I can remember as a kid uh, him stringently supporting local businesses. Uh, I don't know what motivated him. At the time, we never really discussed it, but it was very important to him uh, to su support your neighborhood, support your local communities, and support your local businesses. Um, so I've done that uh, as best I could um, all my adult life. Uh, even before this, um, uh, buy local really started to take root in the past few years. Um, my wife and I and my family, uh, we were very, very supportive of local businesses. We always made our purchases as best we could uh, through the local business community. The folks around the country have been having a great time with this one. The local independent community in the Blackstone Valley were an animal. What animal would it be and why? out. You can thank my editor, David Bay. <laughs> if you're struggling with it, maybe try and try and use a couple of words that describe the community to you. Well, I, well, let's say a cat. Okay. Okay. And uh, uh, the reason I say a cat is, uh, to some degree, uh, cats are very independent. Um, and aloof, and uh, I like that. That does describe, I think, the valley pretty well. Now that I think of it, you know, um, the community has been a very independent community right from the start. You know, it's an old mill community, uh, hardworking individuals, uh, independent individuals. Um, I remember. Um, um, Years back, there was a financial crisis uh, in the valley, in Rhode Island. Mm -hmm. a, uh, I don't know if you were familiar with that, the, the credit unions. There was a right. big issue with credit unions right. in Rhode Island. Um, credit unions actually went out of business. And uh, uh, there was a lot of uh, older, hard-working people that lost their life savings. Um, and I remember at that time, it was very, very difficult for them to even ask for help. Uh, because it was so independent, uh, so aloof, uh, uh, 
So I think CAP, for those reasons, might describe it. We are coming together, though, um, as a community uh, and, and working with one another. So even though we do have a sense of independence, uh, we do have a sense of community, too. And it seems that that's, that's building a little bit down here. And, it's uh, building quite a bit. Yeah, not, not, not to any small degree due to the work that you're doing with the Independent Business Association. I mean, right. Independent Business Alliance, mm -hmm. yeah, which is great. 150 members now, right? Yeah, yeah. Charlene just told me. Yeah. Um, Congratulations. Yeah, that's as quite of achievement. today, we've got 150? 152. 152. That's great. Congratulations. Yeah. Moving on. Can you talk about a time when you as an individual or when you as a business needed support and the local independent community was there for you? Sure. Can you talk about a Thank time, you. if there has been one, when you as an individual or as a business needed support and the local independent community was there for you? Well, there again, I'm part of the Blackstone Valley, so I'm a little independent, a little aloof. Uh, it's very difficult for me to ask for help. But um, I guess probably the closest thing to, to that answer would be um, even in these times of uh, financial crisis, I have uh, a granite company, Superior Model and Granite. Uh, we do primarily granite countertops. And uh, I'm constantly upgrading my equipment, my processes, my equipment. Um, there again, like I said, I believe in the United States. I believe that uh, that we always work our way out of adversity. Um, this is no different than any other situation we've ever been in. Um, we're going to work ourselves out of this, and we're going to come out even stronger than when we went in. Um, I'm, I was in the... Um, I just was in the process of buying a new piece of equipment, um, a bridge saw, uh, updating an older piece of equipment. And uh, I was going to actually finance it out of pocket uh, because of the, the hysteria that you're constantly exposed to in the media. There is no money available for lending. Um, and um, I happen to be, um, our business banking is with uh, Bank Rhode Island. It's a local independent Rhode Island bank. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was in there making a deposit one day, and uh, I was talking to the manager uh, of the, the branch and uh, uh, telling her what was going on and things of that nature. And uh, she asked me why I wasn't applying for financing. And I told her that I didn't expect that they would be interested in lending a business such as myself uh, $65,000 for a bridge saw that might not be worth much on the used market as collateral. And she said, uh, uh, we're a local independent operation just as yourself. Uh, we're supporting the local community, and we'd be thrilled to death to take your application. And uh, within three days, the sixty-five thousand dollars was deposited in my account. Wow! So yeah, I think that answers your question. I think it does. Yeah.